To measure your space, you'll need a few tools. A tape measure, a blank piece of paper, a pencil or a pen, but you can also use a digital device like an iPad if you prefer, a step stool, and to make the process easier and more accurate, we recommend enlisting the help of a friend. We'll demonstrate how to take measurements in this small dining room off the kitchen in my house. To begin, I like to take a minute and observe the room and mentally note where there are architectural features like windows, doors, built-in bookcases, fireplaces, beams, etc. Grab your blank paper and do a sketch of the room's outline. Nothing fancier to scale. This is simply so you can jot down your measurements in real time. Note the architectural features in your room. For doors, I just leave an open space. For windows, I make a rectangle over the top of the wall's line to approximate where the window is located. Don't worry about making this perfect. This drawing is freeform and meant to be just on the go. Once you have your rough sketch of the room, begin your measurements with the room's length and width. I find it's easiest to lay the tape measure on the floor and measure all the way to the wall or to the baseboard. Jot down those measurements on your rough sketch. I like to draw a line from the starting point of the measurement to the ending point so I keep my dimensions organized. We're only taking the measurements of the length and width once because the room is a rectangle, meaning the opposite wall has the same measurement. But if you have a room with different wall lengths, you should measure each of the walls individually. Next, we'll take the measurements for architectural details in the room. We'll start with the far wall in my sketch, so I will draw another line underneath the wall's length. I'll add tick marks where we will need the individual measurements. In my example, we'll need three measurements, one for each side of the window and one for the window itself. I like to work clockwise around the room, so we will start on the left window for our first measurement. We put the tape against the wall and measure from the edge of the wall to the start of the window. We measure 3 feet 10 inches, so we'll go back to our rough sketch and write that number in above the left wall section. We then go back to the wall and continue with the window measurement from the far left side of the window casing to the far right side. We measure 4 feet exactly, so we'll jot that down on our sketch too. We continue measuring our room clockwise from wall to wall. In this example, our doorways do not have an actual door on them, but for areas with a door that opens and closes, You'll want to note the direction that it swings and the side of the door frame where the hinges are attached. This is important as you don't want to lay out your room and realize later that the door will hit your furniture every time you open or close it. Continue this process until you've mapped out each measurement in your room. Once you've made it back to the beginning, you're done with the first step. I do recommend that you label the room even on this initial rough sketch. It's good to keep organized, especially if you're working on a few different projects at once. Once you have your dimensions noted on your rough sketch, you can transfer them to a scale drawing on graph paper or a digital program. We'll demonstrate how to do both in the next modules.